All right. When life gives you lemon, you make lemonades. And in any hobby or business, you have to fix a lot of small problems as they uh, as they come up. I bought these three vertical uh, towers. They're beautiful. You know, four by four. You can have 24 plants. Four by four square feet for a small footprint. You can have 24 plants. Look here at my beautiful four tomatoes and basil here and then lettuce there we transplanted the other day but when we first spotted them the top half were always bad look at the tomato here this survived but look all the rest are dead and wilted they were not getting uh, enough water okay so that was one problem another problem is before we made modification this is the original pump and it was attached here and this this uh, slit was right here at this edge so you can't lift the lid to do any work this is a new way i mean you want to lift the lid to check the ph ec add water whatever you have to turn off the system remove uh, turn off the slip too many steps too many things so I added the single blocks that you see here, raised it, raised it by like six, seven, eight inches. That meant we had to re-plumb this whole thing, okay? So now I got a bigger pump because when you raise it eight inches, this pump, 800 gallon per hour was not sufficient. The top half were not getting water. So we got 1100 gallon per hour uh, water pump and we replumbed it so that instead of this connected here, we had a one inch black flexible PVC and that is connected to the water pump below. Now it's very easy. You can lift, you can lift, you can do work without anything in the way. Something else we did is that the original system asked for a PVC for the drainage. Remember, this is the water pump. This is pushing the water up, and this is the drainage pipe that goes back. This was barely attached to the gasket here, and any movement, it will come out. So we replaced it with this flexible tubing, and uh, it seems to be working fine. So uh, let me turn off the system, and you'll see how easy. See, it's draining. This is the draining part. now. So it's very easy to attach. Before with the PVC, it was like 10 minutes each time trying to put it in at the right spot. And the right, uh, you know, uh, it was very difficult. So now this is working fine. And if I can lift it, and you can see from the bottom, you'll see that uh, the, the new attachment is just screwed in directly to the water pump. No need for any more attachments like this, all these extra parts. No more for these extra parts. The, the hose is connected directly to the water pump, to the part that comes with the water pump. Now you ask why do we have air stone in this uh, aeroponic system? We've done the research and other people have found that yes, adding a little bit of air into the system uh, helps and the plants do a little bit better. Uh, so uh, it doesn't hurt if you don't have one, but if you have one, uh, it doesn't use a lot of eggs. So it took a lot of trials and a lot of modification and do this and do that. Now finally, we have a system that works. These were planted a couple of days ago, three days ago, and uh, they are all getting water. Before, before we made the modification, even 24 hours later, these plants were wilted. So you know they were not getting water. So all of them are doing fine, okay? Uh, and uh, cost a little bit of money and a lot of time and a lot of trial and error, but I encourage you to um, learn how to fix a problem when you see a problem and uh, and uh, come up with creative ideas. Just be, uh, I'm sure a lot of engineering went into this, but 
this was a weak point where the smith was right at here, not logistically user friendly. And, and, and that required all this headache and all these uh, parts. So hopefully version two will address this issue. Enjoy.